Yes, the sun. The sun hits my face, what a beautiful day. So this is the day four. It's like seven in the morning. <coughs> and we're setting off for our morning session. That way, we've probably got, well, on the route, we've got about maybe 10 miles to do. Eight to 10 miles. And then it depends if we can either catch a bus or get a ride uh, to whether we've got to do another four on top of that to get back here. And then we'll move on. But let's see. Have a good day, Rab. Find something. What we found, Rab. This could be the one. Getting the wind muffler <laughs> for the camera every day. We'll remember it one day. the uh if you can hear me you see like the internal structure of it amazing feat of engineering i reckon show you around the side the side some big old blacks it's a significant structure It turns out that it's the shore embankment of uh, a viaduct that was built crossing the Solway Firth between Bowness on Solway, where I am now, and Annan in Scotland, Dumfries and Galloway. Uh, and it was a viaduct for a train. Um, and construction was completed in 1868. Uh, and it was kind of working until it was closed in 1921. Woo! Like falling out of a plane, being in that wind. We're just a little bit sheltered from it here, thankfully, for a bit. Here, Rob. like a maze trying to get through it little streams everywhere well behind me here you can maybe see some of it the top part of it 
got this big old installation uh, like a kind of like an aerial it looks like but it's all in all 13 of these huge uh, poles as it were 12 of them equally spaced round a central point uh, so yeah uh, the locals have been told it's uh serves as both uh, free energy and geoengineering uh, sorry wrong meeting <laughs> uh, the locals have been told it's a um submarine communication uh site you know and also they've been told that it the talking clock comes from here as well I just noticed the in the fields that uh, house this facility is uh, they're all sheep fields obviously there to to keep the grass down you know so they don't have to go in and mow it the sheep will do the job but I was wondering it'd be like I wonder if the lamb and the animals from there get put into the food system uh, yeah or whether they're like <laughs> you know biohazard uh, what should we do with these boss send them to London <laughs> uh, the next stage of the walk will be over the other side of this estuary and I'll be walking that way round the peninsula and down onto the west coast of Cumbria.